Is ChatGPT making people lazy? A new study out of MIT's Media Lab has found some interesting results. The study took 54 participants aged 18 to 39 and divided them into three groups for an experiment. Write SAT essays using either ChatGPT, Google search, or just their own brains. Then they strapped EEGs to their heads to monitor brain activity across 32 different regions while they worked. The results, chat GPT users showed the lowest brain activity across the board, but here's where it gets really concerning. After several months, the chat GPT group got progressively lazier and eventually just started copying and pasting their entire essays by the end of the study. Meanwhile, the brain only group showed the highest neural connectivity, especially in areas associated with creativity, memory, and processing. These participants were also more engaged, curious, and reported being more satisfied with their work. Now get this, two English teachers who blindly assessed the ChatGPT essays delivered a brutal verdict calling the papers largely, quote, soulless. All the AI-assisted essays were not only similar to each other, but completely lacked original thought. Here's the thing. This MIT paper is so small and not peer-reviewed, yet the lead author published it immediately. Why? Our society is increasingly relying on AI tools for even basic tasks like responding to emails. And this small study suggests that doing so may seriously harm long-term brain development. TLDR, the researchers didn't want to wait because AI adoption is happening right now, especially among younger people. There's literally a chat GPT for kids targeting exactly the age group when developing brains are at highest risk. But here's an interesting twist. The Google users also showed high brain activity in satisfaction. The key difference? When you Google, you are still doing the heavy lifting, searching, sifting, and hopefully critically assessing information. But with ChatGPT, it does all that work for you, essentially putting your brain on autopilot. But there's hope. When brain-only participants finally were allowed to use ChatGPT, they performed exceptionally well with significant increases in brain activity. This suggests AI can enhance learning, but only when your brain is already trained and engaged. MIT's Media Lab is now dedicating serious resources to understanding how generative AI affects our brains. Earlier this year, they discovered that the more time people spend talking to ChatGPT, the lonelier they feel. Here's the takeaway. AI isn't evil, but timing matters. Using it as a crutch trains your brain to atrophy. Using it as a tool after developing critical thinking skills could be transformative. Definitely more information to come. But in the meantime, if you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at TIL Science.